Hey, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Stewart, Florida on a brand new boat from Seabourn. This is the LX26 XLT. 500 horsepower of Suzuki outboards, plenty of performance, great fishability, and family fun. I'm going to walk you through it right now. Now our test boat today is powered by dual Suzuki 250s and we've got a helm station I really want to talk about. This has Simrad's IDS information display system on board, which is a glass cockpit design that Seaborn's bringing out. Now the benefit of the IDS system is to give you a nice clean dashboard. You've got a minimum of hull penetrations there, which means you stay dry down below. But it's all touch screen. You've got immediate access to your sonar and chart plotters, and you can customize those screens to the look you want. Down below, you've got the Simrad touch system. You've got dual electronic throttles here that are super smooth and power steering on board. That's Optimus 360, one of our favorite systems. Now the entire area is shaded by this large hardtop. I like the two-tone color of it. This knocks down glare underneath. You've got a tempered glass windshield, which is a great improvement over plexiglass. The entire structure is extremely durable. You've got rocket launchers here, an enormous electronics box up above, and of course, place for your VHF. The spreader lights in the hard top are standard, as are the courtesy lights, both up above and around the deck. Now, the flip-up bolster is curved to give you a nice, secure ride standing up, but this is also the most comfortable seated position that I've found on the center console. You can lean back and relax and still reach the wheel and the throttles. Underneath, there's a house battery and space for three more batteries in case you plan to mount a trolling motor on your boat. Battery switches are on the port side, and underneath the port side stern seat, you've got enormous access to the bilge. That gives you access to your dual starting batteries, your fuel filters, and all your pumps. Now there's plenty on board here for the serious fishermen, including four more rocket launchers in the leaning post, five shotgun rod holders in the transom and a 20 gallon live well on the port side. Now the starboard seat here is insulated and that can be optionally plumbed like this one for a live well. Now for trolling you've got dual rod holders in each gunnel. You've also got rod storage under the gunnels, there's three on each side. Now when you move forward you've got a large console seat but underneath is a divided cooler and this can be optionally plumbed for yet another live well. Now the XLT version of the 26 brings you a great combination of hardcore fishability and family cruising fun. To that end you've got nice thick cushions here on the forward casting deck that make for a very comfortable ride. The removable seat cushions give you forward facing lounges that are extremely comfortable. Another thing I like is the way Seaborn has beveled the gunnels here and tucked grab rails in. They're easy to grab, adding safety, but they won't interfere with rods and nets. Now our boat's equipped with a windlass and you have easy access to it just stepping up here on this casting deck. Now the casting deck makes it easy for you to use your net to gather in bait. Underneath the seats, you've got two large fish boxes and those drain overboard without pumps. Now when you have the cushion stowed, you've got a hardcore fishing deck that's gonna be particularly ideal when you have a trolling motor mounted to the bow. Now the final stage of comfort on board is the changing room down below the console. You can also get that plumb with a porcelain toilet if you so desire. There's a starboard dive door that opens inward and check out the hinge and the latch there. You've also got a transom door for pulling fish in over the transom. Now the 26 has a dual stepped hull, but it's just a little under prop hitting the rev limiter. With a 26 inch prop, you're apt to break that 60 mile an hour mark and improve your fuel efficiency. I'm Randy Vance.